In this video, I'll talk about the three common perspectives that we see in horizontal alignment. We'll look at the plan view, profile view, and cross-section view, looking at a 3D printed model of a horizontal curve. So we'll start by looking at the plan view. So this is from looking at the curve from above. So we'll see that we have a tangent, which leads into the curve, and then following that is the forward tangent. So what we can see from the plan view primarily is looking at the sharpness or the flatness of the curve. So we can see this is essentially how much the road changes as we go from a tangent with this angle to a tangent with this angle. And so that's what the plan view is going to help us with. Then as we transition to looking at the profile view, what this is going to help with is looking at the elevation of the inside, outside edge of pavement, the center line, and how that transition occurs. So if we look at the inside edge of pavement, we see that there's little change until we start to reach the curve. And then we'll see a slight depression where the inside edge of pavement lowers. And then as we leave the curve, it rises back up until we reach normal crown. So overall, in this example, the inside edge of pavement doesn't change tremendously. Now looking at the outside edge of pavement from this perspective in the profile, you actually can't see the outside edge of pavement because it's hidden by the center line or the normal crown. Uh, it's, the outside edge of pavement is lower than the center line at this point, but as it rises, as we make the transition into the curve, we reach full design super elevation, and then we'll make the transition back out of the curve and return to normal crown. In this example, we have zero grade, so there's no grade of this roadway. It's a zero percent grade, so you should notice that the center line actually does not change elevation uh, throughout the alignment. In reality, there may be, and typically there will be, some grade on the roadway, so some vertical alignment, and there can also be a curvature within the, the curve, horizontal curve is possible as well from the vertical perspective. But the whole road itself could be tilted, so you could see uh, a grade of the center line in one direction or the other, or as I mentioned, a, a vertical curve within the horizontal curve is possible as well. So again, plan, view perspective, profile perspective, and then the third perspective, and we can take this model apart and look at each of the individual components. I'll show a couple of, of the key components. So the first one is looking at normal crown. So at each ends of these models, we have tangent sections, which will be in normal crown. So we have the, the center line, and then the, the lanes slope away from that center line, at typically at a rate of 2%. So that's what we see um, in this 3D model as well. Normal crown, which then flows in uh, to where we begin our curvature. In the middle of the curve, so another key point is the design super elevation. So in the middle of this curve, where we see uh, this section where we actually reach the full design super elevation, you're going to see a cross section view that looks like this. So we've got our center line, the inside edge of pavement is lower than the center line at this point, and the outside edge of pavement is higher than the center line at this point, and at the same rate. So the amount that the outside edge of pavement is above the center line, you'll see that the, center, the inside edge of pavement is that amount below the center line. So, that, so we have our three perspectives. We have our cross-section view. So this is looking at the full design super elevation. We've got normal crown. So we've got full design super elevation in the middle of the curve, normal crown on each end as we transition from the tangent to the curve, and then we can also examine the cross section at any point along the curve. So that's the cross section view. Next we have the profile view, so this is looking at it from the edge of the roadway essentially. And finally the plan view, this is the view from above the roadway looking down on the roadway.